So here we are, question 9, the last question in the second paper of the 2014 Higher Maths. The one you expect to be a bit nasty, but it's actually a bit easy. Even easier if you do physics, of course. Speed, distance, acceleration. If you change distance, you must be moving at a certain speed. If you change your speed, you must be accelerating. They're the rate of change of each other. It goes in that order. If you use S for the distance... If you change your distance, you must be moving at a certain speed. If you change your speed, you must be moving at a certain acceleration. Going down the way, that's a rate of change. So I'll just say d by dt. Differentiate with respect to time. To reverse the process, then, must be the opposite of differentiation, which would be integrating with respect to time. So what does it say? For the first one, part A. Find a formula for the acceleration, and it gives you the velocity. So, vt is 8 cos 2t minus pi upon 2, and it wants the acceleration. Well, differentiate then. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So you could write v dash t or dv by dt, whichever you wished. Differentiating this, now watch of course because it's a function of a function here. Differentiating the outer function, cos goes to negative sine, so that'll be negative 8 sine of the thing it's operating on. Now consider the thing it's operating on, 2t minus pi upon 2, a little linear term. The derivative of that with respect to time is just 2. So that means the acceleration will be 2 times 8, negative 16 sine 2t minus pi upon 2. And that's three marks worth. Part B. <clears throat> Determine whether the velocity of the object is increasing or decreasing. Is it accelerating or decelerating? It's like a gradient. Is the gradient positive going up or is the gradient negative going down? What is the acceleration? Well, at t equals 10, the acceleration will be negative 16 sine 2 times 10 minus pi upon 2. And remember, in differentiation and integration, the angles are measured in radians. So before you evaluate this, make sure you set your calculator to radians. Now, since it's paper 2, you could just punch that straight in. But maybe I'll just evaluate this little bit first, completely unnecessarily. So what have I got? Two tens are 20. Take away pi upon 2 minus pi upon 2. So that comes to 18.429, we'll see. No, oh, stick another figure in. Then making sure that it's in radians, change the mode to radians. What have you got? Negative 16 sine, and then either just going straight in with 20 minus pi upon 2, or that 18.4292. And you get 6.5293, and so on. Now the actual value doesn't matter, it's only whether it's positive or negative. So I presume we'll have to make a statement. So I'll say this. Since a at 10 is greater than 0, that means that the velocity is increasing. Another two marks. Part C then. Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. And there we go there. Determine the formula for the displacement. Well, that'll just mean we'll have to reverse that. We're going to integrate. So, how we're going to find this displacement will integrate the velocity. Integrate v of t with respect to t. So what was this then? Here it is. 8 cos of 2t minus pi upon 2 dt. Integrating, that will go back to sine and positive sine at that. But it's a function of a function, a linear function, which it would have to be to integrate. So for this linear part, divide by its derivative. So it'll be divided by 2. And don't forget, plus c. 
So that means that S of t is going to be 4 sine 2t minus pi upon 2 plus c. Now, we've given values so we can find this c. It says in this part here, S of t equals 4 when t equals 0. So I can put that into that. This should come to 4 when I put 0 in for t. So 4 sine 2 times 0 minus pi up in 2 plus the c should equal 4. Well, nothing take away pi up in 2 is negative pi up in 2. And in truth, you could just take that into your calculator because it is paper 2. Or you could consider the graph of sine looks like this. So that going back to negative pi up in 2, must drop it down to negative 1, which means that must be the same as 4 times negative 1 plus c is 4. Take the negative 4 across and add, and you've got c equals 8. So I can finish this off then. s of t equals 4 sine 2t minus pi upon 2 plus 8. Finishing question 9 for 8 marks altogether.